this video, I'm going to give you three easy solutions to convert vertical video to horizontal video inside of Premiere Pro. What you want to do is first create a new sequence by going to File, New Sequence, or you can hit Command N as the keyboard shortcut, or come down here and click New Item Sequence. Since it was shot on an iPhone that uses 30 frames per second, I'm going to choose this option, the DSLR 1080p by 30. Okay, that's going to give me a horizontal video, which will be perfect for YouTube. So here is solution number one. Simply drag your clip onto the, onto the timeline and write like that. If I hit play, now I have a vertical video playing on a black background. If you export it, this will give you a 1920 by 1080. You can upload it. You will just have the black bars on the side. Okay. Option number two. If you have a lot of room on the top and the bottom or the sides, you can simply scale up by going to the effect control. We'll scale this up. We'll position into place by using the position. And now just like that, I have a horizontal video playing on a horizontal background and you never would have known that it was vertical. If it does not ruin your story or if it does not ruin the look of your video, you can simply just scale up and you might have a workable solution like that. Okay, so that is option number two. Simply scale up. Okay, we're on to solution three. Make a duplicate of the original layer by simply holding the option key, drag up or down. Now we have two of the exact copies. Take the bottom layer, select it, go to the effect controls, and scale that thing way up. Okay, we're trying to make it an abstract background. So it really is going to depend on the video that you're working with, but just scale it way up. Now we have the main video, the vertical one, playing on this abstract background, but we're going to spruce it up a little bit. With the bottom layer selected, you're going to come over here to the effects panel. We're going to put on two effects. We're going to put Lumetri. We're just going to simply drag that on. Then we're going to go ahead and put Gaussian Blur. We're going to drag that on. I've already done these in advance for sake of time, but then you'll see them over here in the effects panel. Let's go ahead and select the top layer now. We're going to search in the effects for drop shadow, so we're just going to search that. We're going to take that and drag that on, so we can have a little separation from the top layer to the background. So everything from here on out is really up to your imagination, but I'll just show you what I did. With the bottom layer selected, I just added a Gaussian blur. I cranked it up to 57%. Now I have this blurred background. It's not a lot of contrast. So then I added the Lumetri so I could start playing with some of the colors, some of the basic color corrections of lightness, darkness, just to give it a little bit of a pop. You might want to turn on the basic correction, bring down the exposure, just like that. Now that has. That might be all you really need. You have this dark background with a video playing. Then I went down and added a little color in the curve, so I just put a little blue. Now I have a blue background, which gives it kind of a nice little effect. I have this video that was vertical and kind of boring into a nice little background image. It's a lot better than this basic little vertical image with black. Sky is the limit, but that's just a little idea to get you started. To stop the background video from moving, just simply drag the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Select the clip, right-click, and choose Add Frame Hold. Now it'll stop the movement.